There is a massive scam going on right now with one of the most popular modern Pokemon sets, EV Heroes. This set is very beloved because of all of the alternate art evolutions, and it is very, very dangerous to buy. Today, I'm going to tell you what you can do to make sure you don't get scammed. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. Eevee Heroes is probably the most popular modern Pokemon set of the past few years, and it just recently saw a restock, and with that restock, started up a massive resealed booster box scam, and this is a tricky one because you actually do get legitimate Eevee Heroes packs inside. And stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how to keep yourself safe and make Make sure you don't buy resealed booster boxes. Okay, so let's take a look right here. We have two booster boxes. We have two EV Heroes booster boxes. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell which one is uh, resealed and which one isn't because they both look very, very good. Now this set is incredibly expensive right now for a couple of reasons. These booster boxes are selling for about $150. And the reason the box is so pricey is because of the alternate Art Umbreon VMAX that is selling for ridiculously high prices raw. Due to that, some sketchy people in Japan have figured out ways to uh, essentially scam everybody. Now, take a second and uh, can you tell me which one of these is the resealed box? Probably really difficult to tell, right? Here's the thing that's super, super scary. These are both legitimate EV Heroes booster boxes. In fact, when we open up the resealed one, it's going to have legitimate EV Heroes booster packs inside. Stick around, I'll tell you how that's possible in just a second. But let's take a look real quick. Okay, so if you look, this this one right here is the resealed EV Heroes box. This one right here is the legitimate from the original release. This is the one that you see in my back display when I do my news videos for, for a while now. So this is the real one, the, the non-resealed, the legitimate one. And this is the resealed one. Now, if you look at both of them, they are very, very similar, right? Because this isn't an authentic EV Heroes box. But there's a few things that are really, really, really key giveaways, okay? First thing is if you turn them over on the side, we want to look at the seal, okay? So let's look at the seal. You can see just by looking on the legitimate one, the seal is a lot thinner. And then on the resealed one, the seal is a little bit thicker, right? This is something that's kind of hallmark with resealed product is the product that they use to reseal it isn't the exact same. So if we look, I mean, again, on the right is the authentic, on the left is the resealed. If we look right here, we have the nice, it's more of a saran wrap feel. And on this side, it's more of like a cellophane. So if you take the one that's legitimate, you see it's got, you know, some of the imperfections, more of a saran wrap feel. If you go to the side, right and then you go to the resealed one and it's very very tight very clean and if you go feel on the sides you've got much more of that cellophane sound it's still difficult to notice it's it's difficult to tell uh which one's resealed but here's another thing too you can look for if you look at the resealed one you see right there you see that right there that is a crease from this box being opened and this being pulled back to get the packs out Boom, right there, super crazy. Now, Pokemon has implemented something new for Japanese booster boxes that moving forward, Japanese booster boxes aren't gonna open via a flap, they're gonna open via a tear. So you're gonna have to actually tear the box open to get it open. So for sets releasing in the future that are in this format, this type of scam is gonna be mitigated. But those are, those are the ways that you can identify if it's been resealed. So let's take our legitimate one, okay? And let's go ahead and set our legitimate one to the side. Let's take our resealed one and we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And as I open this up, I'm gonna tell you what to expect on the inside of one of these again you're, you're looking for any type of indication that the box has been bent and it during opening and you're looking for this wrap that's a lot more cellophane very very tight doesn't have any give to it this one is a little bit torn right there so as we open this up uh, i'm going to tell you what to expect when you see these on the inside and i'm going to try and keep this one shot so there's no you know no confusion i switch packs out or anything because when i open this up you're going to see real EV Heroes booster packs. You're gonna see real sealed EV Heroes booster packs. And that's because Japanese booster boxes are seeded. Every Japanese booster box is pretty much guaranteed to have a secret rare inside of it. And you're gonna have four or five um, Vs or Vmaxes and Japanese booster packs are 100% weighable, okay? So as we open this up right here, like I said, I'm gonna keep this one shot. We're gonna see real EV Heroes booster packs inside and see the cellophane 
cellophane feel, not a, not a saran wrap style feel. Again, you got that bend right there from when they opened it. So what's gonna happen, the reason we're gonna see real EV Heroes booster packs on the side of this is because what these resealers will do is they'll take these booster packs and they'll open, you know, 100 boxes. They'll weigh them all, they'll take all the pulls, open the pulls, and then take everything left and put the re the real EV Heroes packs back in the boxes that have no hits in them. So as we go through and open all of these, again, these are real EV Heroes packs. As we go through and open all these, uh, you, there will be no secret rare, and I highly doubt we'll get anything better than a hollow, maybe a V or two, because they've gone through, they've opened up, you know, 50, 100 boxes, weighed and taken out all of the heavy packs that have the hits and the secret rares, and then repackaged all the boxes with the dud packs, okay? So let's go ahead and go three, and we're gonna go and we're gonna open all of these, okay? And like I said, I'm not gonna cut this. I'm not gonna take this off screen because I want you guys to see exactly what uh, is gonna happen right here and how to be uh, how to be mindful of this. Uh, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all can do to, to kind of protect yourself. This is a really huge issue, uh, especially with this set and it's, it's really difficult to get around it. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna take five at a time uh, and I'm gonna open all the packs. Now I'm probably gonna speed it up a little bit right here, okay? I'm gonna speed it up a hair right here, but uh, I'm not gonna cut anything. Uh, just for posterity's sake, so you guys can see these packs on screen at all time, and nobody can say, oh, you switch packs out to make it look better or worse. So here we go, let's go ahead and get all of these cut and opened. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Don't pull right down the side, PCH, cut your limit. I don't need a guide, follow lights, take me where I wanna visit. Are you alive? I'll just breathe Okay, here we go. Now again, to reiterate, we should see no real hits. We might get a hollow, we might get a V, but essentially what these resealers will do is they'll take these, look at that, no hit. They'll take these and they'll open them all up. They'll weigh everything. They'll take out all of the good boxes or all of the good packs, everything that's a hollow or better and they will take all of the dud packs, repackage them up and sell them. So it's a real EV Heroes box. It's a real EV Heroes pack. It's authentic Pokemon cards. They have just taken all of the good hits and then they're selling you a box for $150 that has absolute crap on the inside of it. And like I said, the guy that I buy my Pokemon cards, my Japanese Pokemon cards from, got you know got really really screwed out of about out of about three grand uh from this scam and this was one of the boxes he had left over and he showed it to me i was like dude i can totally make a video and bring some awareness to this look at this so far not even a single hollow rare and with all of this secret rare evolution alt arts and all of this stuff that's in this set that's worth good money uh, you can see why people would do this. Oh, look, there's a hollow rare. Okay, so one slipped by. Like I said, we might get a few hollow rares, but I highly doubt we're gonna get anything that's of any real value and everything is going to have been taken out of this box. So you gotta be really, really careful with this set when you're buying when you're buying uh, booster boxes of this set because of that reprint, because people know the value of the cards that are inside, they're gonna go through, weigh everything, take all of the hits, and then they're gonna make money on their hits and then they're gonna sell on eBay the booster boxes that have absolutely nothing in them. Look at that still, boom. They have nothing in them for 150 bucks, make a ton of money and screw you in the process. So you guys gotta be careful. Look, boom, okay, another hollow. Now you can, when you're weighing these things, hollow variances can, can pop up. But like I said, I doubt uh, we're gonna get anything better than a hollow out of this whole entire box. We're already one third of the way through and we haven't hit anything but two hollows. So this is just something that's really, really messed up. Uh, and this is something that in with future releases, Pokemon is, like I said, they're gonna be helping out with making the booster boxes that you have to rip them along the perforated edge for Japanese. Hey, there we go, we got a Jolteon, okay. So we got one V. So it's not a perfect science when they do this. Some of the res resealers might actually go through and weigh everything, or some might just open packs until they hit the secret rare out of a box, or until they hit the secret rare and the, the VMAX out of the box, uh, and really just go after the really nice pulls, right? Uh, and then so you might end up with the resealed box that has uh, it has some hollows, it might have a V or so, or it could have absolutely nothing in it. Um, see, there's a hollow. But these Japanese booster boxes are seeded, uh, and it's different than English booster boxes. Within a Japanese booster box, you're guaranteed at least one good secret rare 
and at least four or five V's and V maxes. And as we go through, look at this, we're already two thirds of the way through the box. Uh, and there's two, three hollows and a V that slipped through. Uh, so this is definitely something that is, uh, it's a huge issue. Uh, it's a huge issue in Japan that this is happening uh, and people are getting scammed left and right. So you gotta be really, really careful. Uh, and I will tell you, sadly, it's really hard to stay away from this if you want this product. <laughs> it's really difficult, especially if you're buying it online. Like if you're buying at a convention or a trade show or you're buying in person, you can look at, look, there's another hollow. You can look at some of the things that I showed you uh, and kind of, you know, okay, this box looks like it's all right. But uh, as we finish up on these last few packs, we've hit one V and three or four hollows. Uh, and if you open Japanese cards, you know that you're supposed to get a secret rare and you're probably gonna get, you know, like I said, five or six other good hits. Uh, so boom, okay, so we got a VMAX, Glaceon VMAX. Okay, that slipped through. Uh, but still, we should have had way, way more hits in this. Uh, we should have had way more hits in here. Last two packs, no secret rare, no alternate arts. Um, and like I said, this wouldn't be just a, oh, you got a bad box. No, this isn't a bad box. Like I guess the Japanese boxes are seated. In a Japanese box, you are going to get a secret rare. You are going to get four, five, six V maxes, Vs, and combinations thereof. You are going to get probably around 12 or so uh, hollows. So this is a 100% a resealed box where they went, again, like I said, they went through, they weighed the packs and they took all the heavy ones to make sure that they got the secret rare, to make sure they got the V, to make sure they got the V maxes. And I know I'm saying it all over again because you know I'm trying to hammer it into you guys' head. This is what happened here. It is a huge, huge issue. Guys, before I tell you how to protect yourself from these types of scams, if you enjoyed the video or you learned anything, please smash that thumbs up button, comment below, and subscribe. When you do all those things, it really, really helps the channel. And if you watch the video all the way through, it's one of the best ways that you can support me and help the channel grow. Now, if you really want to make sure that this isn't happening to you, like I said, if you spent 150 bucks on this box and you got four hollows, a V and a V max, when you should have got around 10 or 12 hollows, about five or six Vs and V maxes, and a secret rare, you would be super mad 150 bucks market value for maybe maybe four or five dollars worth of pulls because this has been resealed now sadly there's very few things that you can do to make sure that this doesn't happen to you one you can make sure that you're buying in person if you're buying at lgs's you're buying at conventions like collecticon which is coming up here in collecticon kansas city which is coming up this weekend uh if you're going to be there let me know and maybe we can say hi uh or if you're buying from you know your local store or something like that you can check to make sure that that seal is is appropriate you can check to look for it if it looks Looks like things have been pulled back or opened specifically on this set because this is such a popular set and it, that's really the best way is only buy these in person um and then if you're buying them in person buy sealed cases or make sure that if you're going to buy single boxes you buy from stores that you trust stores that you know have great great integrity like invasion toys invasion toys would never do something like this there's a ton of other stores out there that are going to take care of you that you can really 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 trust I I've bought many things from Invasion Toys that have booster boxes that are seated where maybe only two or three boxes in the case have a hit because I know Invasion Toys isn't gonna screw around and try and scam somebody. If you buy anything from Invasion Toys, use code applesauce, you'll save 10% on your order of $20 or more. I don't think they have any EV heroes, just Invasion Toys is an example of a store that you can trust. You might have a local game store that you can trust. You might have a friend that you know sells stuff you know, for himself that you can trust him. And, and that's really, that's really all you can do. I would 100% highly, highly advise against buying EV Heroes booster boxes singles online. And if you're gonna buy them in person, really scrutinize the seal, really scrutinize the package because the person you're buying from might not even know that it's resealed. Cause like I said, this was legitimate EV Heroes box, legitimate EV Heroes packs. Just everything has been weighed and taken out of it and resealed. It's very scary and really, really terrible. Uh, and you just gotta be really, really careful. And sadly, there's not a lot that you can do about it. So remember just buy in person. If you're gonna buy these in person and really scrutinize the packaging, if you're gonna buy online, only buy from stores that you really, really, really trust. Uh, and I would just completely, completely avoid buying from places that are selling singles online. I just wouldn't even buy single booster boxes at all right now because it's just so sketchy and so, and so messed up.
And make sure that you're careful out there. If you've been scammed by this EV hero scam, let me know down in the comments below. And if you're a huge Pokemon fan, make sure to check that video out right there. I know you'll learn something. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.